in high definition from the station on your side. This is Wavy News 10. 18 burglaries at small businesses, many in broad daylight. But only one was caught on surveillance cameras. Virginia Beach police believe this man is responsible for breaking into all of those businesses by popping out deadbolt locks. Tell me your sides, Ann McNamara spoke with the victim. This suspect took anywhere from $1 to hundreds of dollars, but it's what he took inside this store that made police think he could be responsible for other break-ins in other cities. Everything at Tiny Tots Treasures, every hat, every dress, every little shoe is primped and pressed and put in place by owner Debbie Bukowski. She admits it might be a little much, but that's just me. Her keen eye came in handy this week when someone broke in in broad daylight Sunday morning. They went straight to the register, grabbed the couple of ones and fives and my coin tray. As soon as she got there, Debbie noticed a little something was a little off. One dress was up here on the rack getting ready to be put out. Uh, really fancy pink dress. To go with it, the suspect took two pairs of tights. So you have none left? I have none left, no. <laughs> they took all of them. <laughs> and three dresses on the way out. And they hit a lot of other baby stores, too, which makes me believe that they just want cash and they just want some baby stuff because he's probably freaking out that he has a newborn baby and no money. This store, one of 18 to fall victim to the deadbolt popper. A thief is a thief. He used the same method at Excel Car Stereo. The difference here... They caught him on camera. A video just records what you do. It doesn't stop you. Not before he got away with cash and a speaker box. You know, definitely love to see him get caught. Yeah, definitely. Back at Tiny Tots, Debbie knows she'll probably never get her stuff back, but she does want the thief to pay. It's probably just about justice. I would rather have them, actually, I'd rather see them get some help. Because several of these stores had to do with kids' clothing, kids' toys, police say they think this suspect could be linked to other break-ins in Chesapeake. But, of course, that investigation is still ongoing. In Virginia Beach and McNamara, 10 on your side. Many of these businesses didn't have security cameras, but they found a quick fix to keep this from happening again. That story coming up at 6. If you have any information about the suspect in this surveillance video, call the crime line. The